Hello and welcome to the dumbest show on the internet, number six with cheese. Today, we're reviewing crispy chicks. Corey, what kind of fried chicken sandwich did you order? Do it that, that's it. Cool, and I got Nashville hot tendies with three different sauces, so today, uh, I think we're headed to a ghost kitchen, right? Yeah, it's in the it's the Diaz Tequila Boys, and oh. they got another uh, the Fajita Fajita Factory and Diaz Tequila, same ownership. They're Ghost Kitchen, and out of I think the Diaz Tequila restaurant. Innovation, baby. Johnny Research. We're headed there. We got a car. It goes when we hit the gas. I can't believe people watch this show. Come I along. Can't believe it either. <laughs> Guys, we're in Boys Town. We got a big old bag of crispy chicks acquired jump cut. All right, we're gonna open Corey's first. This is a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Pop this bad boy open. Got some stickers holding it tight. There we go. Whoa. Oh my God. Look at that chicken, Sammy. Let me get this. Little I am there. looking. I'm not talking to you, stupid. Oh. All right, cool. We got the chicken sandwich looking dope. We've got honey mustard on top of it. Um, wow, that. Chicken looks extra crispy and delicious. Sure does. There's also pickles over here on the side and some fresh, 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 fresh lettuce. And um, that's it. Pretty simple little uh, move we got going on over here. And then for the tenders, boom. Kind of hard to see because of the box. But uh, Nashville hot chicken. And then uh, that looks like garlic bread maybe or some sort of just toast. Like Texas toast. Texas toast. Um, yeah, there's Nashville hot. You've seen tenders before. You know what the Nashville hot looks like. And uh, that's all she wrote. Okay, so real quick, sauce-wise, you get to pick one. You can add other sauces for 75 cents. I did that, because I'm a fancy boy. I got Korean hot sauce, shout out P-Welds, jalapeno ranch dip, and mango pineapple hot sauce. They have so many sauces on there. Also, you can get a sauce flight. If I was feeling a little ballsy today and wanted to spend way too much money on dips, I would have done that. All right, crispy chicks inside DS tequila. I'm gonna try one naked, then we're going sauce town, dude. All right, a uh, little uh, crispy chicks. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. Bro, this chicken sandwich is fire. Really interesting, fun breading. Like, not an instant crunchy crunch. S super light. Mine is, at least. Very light, like, very, like, light batter. Yours looks a little bit different than mine. Mine looks like a little bit more, like there's more breading. That looks like more fried chicken style, mm -hmm. where mine is more of like a, maybe a dusted or a, a light roll in the hay, if you will, in the batter. Mm, this is very good. And the person who gave us our food is one of Farley, my dog's best friends, because it's COVID. We got this dog during COVID. The dog has literally only met Sean, and then we have a couple that we bubble with, AJ and Brittany that she's met, has met zero of her other friends, except that dude walks down my street daily in the summer, and so every time we would take the dog out, that was literally like one of the first people that my dog met, and it is no joke, probably three or four times I've taken the dog out to go pee, it's had to pee really bad, and then who do we see is that dude, and the dog runs up and pees all over his shoes, and I feel bad. That's and a term of love. never talked about it. <laughs> Me and that guy have never talked about it. He knows though, he, he knows. knows. And sometimes it's to the point where he's got, sometimes he'll be walking down the street with like his friend uh -huh. and I'll hear, this is no joke, they've done this before where they go, Farley! And then we'll show up and they'll go, the guy goes, oh my God, I didn't think that would actually work. We just yell your dog's name sometimes when we walk down the street. Oh and my so they, God. they, yeah, Farley's a very popular beast. Farley has a more active social life than I do. <laughs> That's sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sauce number one. What was it? I Maybe believe. Right. That had to have been the Korean hot sauce. Phenomenal. Really good. Oh my God, yeah. This has got to be the pineapple hot sauce. It looks like ground up pineapple, mm, doesn't mm, it? Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it does. I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying being like a fifth grader right now. Ordering just tenders and dipping them in sauces. Like there's something about it. I'm just really channeling my inner Sean. Yeah. My inner child. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on that one. Oh my God, is that good? Really good, huh? Where did this place come from? Dude, right? And this, because. You're talking about how great those sauces are. This honey mustard. Honey mustard usually isn't something that stands out to me. This is really good honey mustard. Oh my God. These people got their sauce game on lock. They're a damn good chicken sandwich. It looks great. I'm impressed. 
Crispy chicks, doing it right. Another reason why Boys Town is awesome. Oh, that's spicy, bro. That's the pineapple, is it pineapple habanero or something? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, is that spicy? Like, Sean and Corey spicy. Like, talking to third person spicy. I wish I had some milk, bro. I might eat some of that Eclipse oh, gum down there. Milk's so gross to me. It really is. Highly chugs it. She said she was on a conference call the other day, work call, and she almost chugged some milk. And then she was like, bro, oh, don't do this on business meetings. That's you can't so be chugging funny. milk on business You can't meetings. be an adult. You can be, like, on a Zoom call with your teacher when you're, like, a kindergartner. But you can't be a grown-ass adult that makes a good salary drinking milk out of a glass. You can't be doing it. Now, which one's this one? A ranch? It's just... That's what it looks like a little bit. It's jalapeno ranch. It's so good. I'm not kidding you, dude. This is one of the more standout entrees I've had in a while. Top to bottom. Crispy checks. Out of nowhere. Woke up today, didn't know where we were going. Eating it now mm. on cloud nine. Can I say something serious real quick? I've been thinking about this. I need to say something serious for a second. <sighs> yeah, that works. Last week we did a video where we reviewed Tavern Style Pizza. And I said some things about Chicago food. <laughs> I did. And there was a commenter who was pretty mad about it. Uh -huh. I think his name was Shy Bears 3682 or something dumb like that. Yeah, he's a new fan. And he was pretty pissed. He was. And I just want to take this opportunity to say I'm sorry for absolutely nothing. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. I stand by what I say. Chicago food sucks. Deep Dish is dumb, except for Labriola. Tavern style is dumb, except for Vito and Nick's. And Chicago hot dogs are dumb. No exceptions, <laughs> none. And if you live in Chicago and you think it's great pizza, go get this dumb deep dish and these dumb hot dogs and these dumb tavern style, then the only thing I can imagine is that you've never left your city. You haven't traveled because Toledo style pizza is better. Detroit style pizza is better. I haven't had New Haven style, but I hear it's amazing. You should try some chili dogs from maybe Cincinnati, Toledo, Detroit, all amazing places. I'm telling you guys, Chicago has some of the best food in the world and none of it is food that is considered staples of your city. All the best food here, the Loyalist, amazing. Uh -huh. Rico Benny's, amazing. But no one says Chicago's got great breaded steak sandwiches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that part was spot or on. Amazing, wonderful hamburger. They just don't really say that. You guys need to realize that the staples of your city, the things your city is known for, are human piles of trash. Except for the one restaurant or maybe two that do it amazing, i.e. Labriola for deep dish or Burt's for deep dish. Pequod's maybe in there, sorry Dale. Um, <laughs> or some of the other, uh, the tavern style spots, like I said, like Vito and Nick's. Other than that, bro, they ain't good. If you think those other spots are good, if you think Paisano's is good, maybe we've got an undercooked one, I don't know. You literally need to travel, bro. You gotta travel. And if you're mad about this, just remember it's a joke. I'm just over here saying this stuff to get a rise out of you guys, <laughs> but I think it's hilarious. So. <laughs> Take a joke, your city's food isn't all that good, but we're all just having fun here, so relax a little bit. And also, I mainly just wanted to use a clip that AJ talked to me, told me about, uh -huh. where uh, Conor McGregor does that. Does He goes, I want to take this moment to apologize for absolutely nothing. <laughs> I was about to say, you know that rant, and I needed a minute to just get over the twist that just happened. Because I was like, are you about to apologize yeah. for that? I stole that from uh, Conor McGregor, the genius that he is. He's a fellow Irishman like us. And I wasn't going to bring up those comments, except I was like, oh, I've been looking for an excuse to use that clip. Anyways, this food is amazing. This was so good, dude. I like can't believe this pick. I never heard of this place. I don't even think, I maybe been to Diaz Tequila one time. Diaz Tequila's actually, I guess, won some like hamburger awards and crap. No joke. That's weird. I know. I saw it on their menu when I went there to eat one time. Hamburger? A hamburger? <laughs> That's not like my uncle would be like, oh, how does that work? Hamburger. Uh, also, maybe the first time in history that a Facebook ad actually wor worked on me. I got supply. Wow. I, I was scrolling through Facebook. It said crispy chicks. I was like, what is this? Because I like chicken food and I, this is what I do for a living. Right. And it said sponsor. And I was like, whoa, what? Mm -hmm. And then I looked into it. Ghost Kitchen. I said, let me do that. Anyways, this is barely a food review. Uh, let's go ahead and do a shout out. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. If you guys didn't see last week, we just changed up our Patreon. I hope you guys are enjoying the new tiers and the um, kind of revamping of our entire system. We try to make it a lot simpler for you guys. Um, just a handful of tiers on there. We're still doing our shout outs for every single person. We're just trying to figure out the best way to give you guys the content and the added quality benefits that you guys want. Um, we're open to feedback. Let us know if we missed anything.
anything. If you guys are looking for other stuff, start the dialogue with us down in the comments. Uh, if you haven't seen the new ones, go to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese and check out our new tiers and see if any of that interests you. Uh, and if you have signed up for our Patreon, like I said, we give shouts to everybody. Let's do a couple of those right now. Deal. Patreon shout out name number one, Lisa Lineker. <laughs> Lisa uh, bumped up to the $10, so right now she gets invited to the monthly hangouts, and she gets early access to all of our videos before they're live to the public. So Lisa, ya boss. And Patreon shout out number two goes Mr. Jonathan Smith. Woo Jonathan signed up for the $1 tier, which is no longer available, but we appreciate you. You're still on there. Anybody who was on any of those old tiers, you're still on Patreon, so don't worry about it. You're grandfathered in. We're still doing your shout outs. You're still getting all the early content. So I hope you're enjoying it, Jonathan. We love you. All right, time to rate it and get the hell out of this video so this video doesn't take Corey 45 days to edit. Yeah, I got moving to do. He's got moving to do. Let's go ahead and rate it uh, <laughs> out of five. Oh, uh, DVD covers of the movie Hot Chick. Oh, yeah. With Rob Schneider oh, and yeah. Rachel McAdams. Uh, how many DVD covers of Hot Chick do you give the Crispy Chicks sa chicken sandwich, Corey? I loved it. I thought that the chicken breading was really good and crispy and airy, and it was super, super, super delicious. Um, the bun didn't get in the way. Someone made a great analogy in the comment section after our horrible bun experience at Milt's that the bun is like a ref in a, in a, in a sporting event. You want to not notice it, and if it's if it's good, you don't notice it. If it's bad, it's all anybody talks about. That's incredible. It's brilliant, and I, you know what? We're not talking about the bun because it did its job. I love that. It just showed up and delivered what it was supposed to, so that wow. did a fantastic job. I kept the lettuce and the pickles on there, which I generally don't do, and they were great little additives to the sandwich. And the thing that really pushed this over the top for me was uh, much like you were talking about the sauces you were feasting on, mm -hmm. I thought that that was one of the, this is not something I thought I'd say, by the way. I didn't think honey mustards could be all that different, but that honey mustard sticks out as one of the, my favorite honey mustards I've ever had in my life. Wow. So I'm actually gonna give that a freaking five, man. That was that good to me. This is probably cool. No, I know. So I, was... I know when to stop the applause. There's... Hey! <laughs> I, there's three things. One, I'm so excited about the things that you said. One, that analogy that that person gave about that Fantastic. rap is incredible. I wish I could give the commenter, I sorry, I apologize. I don't know the commenter's name, so I wanna give him credit. Two, you use the word additives in a way that was so brilliant and really I'm a brilliant and man. And I'm known for that. And then three, the fact that you just gave this place a five blew my freaking mind all over, really all, all over the north side of Chicago. And their caddy corner to a kratom dispensary. Crate kratom up. Um, those tenders were so good. They were not just like. They clearly didn't just like make frozen tenders that were already like very breaded and they just threw them in the deep fryer and then sprinkled Nashville hot sauce. Which they could have done, It yeah. felt like they was, were hand breaded. If they weren't, you fooled this ginge, dude. Because that truck was just fully frozen. Did you see that, by the way? The one right here? That one in front of this one. Oh, looked man. Looked like it was a frozen truck oh driving. Oh, my God, that's Like awesome. in a video game. Anyways, um, those sauces, because they were a part of this meal, because I added them on, that whole meal was like 10 bucks. Dude, I'm going 4.75. Wow. Those were damn near perfect. Like, the chicken could have been a little crispier, but like, I really liked the direction they went. In my belly hole. Yeah, and just in case, before we end this, I do want to say, just in case that fantastic, amazing server, which I I don't, I'm so stupid every time I introduce myself, because I've probably seen this guy seriously 80 to 100 times over COVID. Yeah. And I never knew his name, and I was like, oh my god, well, I, are you the guy who knows, like, is best friends with my dog Farley? And he was like, I swear to god, that's what I said. Yeah. I go, Wait, because uh. he was wearing a mask. I was like, dude, are you the dude who loves Farley? And he's like, oh, and I was like, you know, whatever, I introduced myself. I thought he said his name was Zach, but this receipt says Dusty. Either way, if you just so happen to be watching this, I want to apologize that my dog's peed on your shoes a couple it's times. It's like a loving thing. <laughs> yeah, she's just so excited to see you, man. So I just want to apologize real quick. He's got a beer? He's got a beer. Yes, bro! A cup of beer. This is drinking and driving. And he's getting into his Chrysler M300 and about to skedaddle. Yeah, which by the way, just to give this a little bit of context, it's 147 <laughs> in the afternoon, getting in his Chrysler 300, <laughs> this old ass white dude with like a, a clear solo cup, it's not like a can of beer. What you'd get at like a rock show. Yeah, like, like I'll a take a Bud Light for $7. Yeah, like, like a kegger beer. A kegger beer. Yeah. Bro, boss move, dude. I respect the hell out of that. Wow. 
What a fun I'm video. about to ram my car into him. I bet you I can get some money. Him <laughs> drinking and driving, dude? Dude, calm down. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Back on Corey's couch tomorrow on Fridays. Uh, we do brew and review, so we have a fun uh, drink, and we eat a bunch of stuff that makes us fatter. So we'll see you then. We'll try not to cry too much between now and then. <laughs> Can't promise anything. <laughs>